Heathrop. Watch out, Baby Lofty! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're not hurt, are you? Not hurt, uh-uh. <laughs> not the flyer, either. All done, Megan. Let's get cleaned up, then. Come on, you can all sleep with us in the estate. Some sleep. Don't want to be alone, Megan. I guess you can stay with them. Yeah, stay, Molly, please. Well, okay, but no more fooling around. We be good, promise. We go right to sleep. But go still here, I think. Now, baby cuddles, you just close your eyes and stop worrying. Believe me, there are no such things as ghosts. Monster. 
monster picks on you The odds are it's your mind playing tricks on you So if a ghost appears in this location Don't get in a state of agitation It's all in your imagination It's all in your imagination the entire estate and see if we find any ghosts, okay? We won't. We'll too. We'll not. We'll too. I'm telling you, there is no ghost. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Spike, that was not funny. It, it wasn't. Let's keep looking. It's got to be around here somewhere. And when we find it, we ask it to go away, right? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. That's not the way you deal with ghosts. You have a better idea? Yeah, if there's anything here, I'm gonna catch it. This ought to do it. Okay, Cupcake, bring me the cake. Ooh, looks yummy. There, all set. I still don't get it. It's actually pretty simple, Spike. The trap door is triggered by this pulley mechanism. And the cake is the bait. Now I get it. The ghost gets hungry, sees the cake, picks it up to eat it. And... Uh, will somebody open the box, please? Huh? Please? Will you? Uh, will you? <laughs> Come out, come out, wherever you are!
like some kind of squishy bug or something. Yeah. I'm the ghost of paradise escape. Come on, let's catch it. Oh, I wouldn't try that if I were you. You never know what I might do. I'll disappear, then pick up boo. I'll hold your nose till you turn blue. I'd get out fast if I were you. Before you end up in a stew. I'd say a hasty doodle do. You bit off more than you can chew. I'd get out fast if I were you. You won't catch me. Transfer to uh, tra uh, change shape, though I seem to have lost control of mine. <laughs> oh, there. Then you're not a spirit? Oh, no. Dream Valley used to be my home. But today, I came here from a land far, far away. Why did you scare us all out of the house? I... I got you all out? Every one of us. Oh, good. Hey, what is this? It's a trap! So, Gingerbread, actually, I was, uh, well, you see, I, uh, I was forced to come here by Squirk. Oh, who's Squirk? The meanest thing I can think of, and he has been for about ten, th uh, uh, twenty hundred, no, it was, well, a long, long time anyway, which is when all this started. Long, long before you ponies lived here, when all this land, every place around here was underwater and ruled by that slimy, no good Squirk. Squirk was a tyrant, all right. An evil and nasty dictator. Oh, he was simply awful. He didn't allow anyone to say a word against him. If they did, he used the power of his magical amulet, the flash stone, to punish them. And he used it, oh, mercilessly. Oh, he was just plain cruel. <laughs> the water mysteriously sank back into the earth. Nobody knows why or how or... That is, it just started to go. And soon, other creatures came to live here, including my kin, the Pennies. Ruff, my grandfather, was their leader. The Pennies didn't come to, to fight. They simply wanted a place to live. But Squirt! He didn't want the penners living in the vicinity. No, I should say not. 
He wanted all the land to himself, and so, using his powerful flash stone, Squirk tried to chase the penis away. But my grandfather, brave and tough as he was, refused to be bullied. <laughs> And with great courage, he took the flash stone away from Squirk. <laughs> he threw one half into the deepest part of the river, and the other half into what came to be known as Dream Valley, a place Rough knew Squirk could never go. Squirk hid underwater for years, waiting for my grandfather to get old, weaker. Squirk didn't care. He'll live for centuries. Where's your grandfather now? Squirk's kidnapped him. He's holding Grandfather Ruff hostage to force me to cooperate with him. What does all this have to do with us or Paradise Estate? Uh, 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 you'll see. I'm so sorry, little ponies. Oh, I really am. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. just disappear and reappear outside the net? Yeah, then you can stop that crazy bird. No, unicorns can only wink out through empty space. Yeah, we can't wink through stuff like this net, you know. Then we'll never get free. It's too strong. <laughs> Something we can do. 
Buttons, Fizzy, come on. I've got an idea. So, how's your ancient feathered friend? Oh, so help me, Squirk. If I ever get out of here by Cracky, I... I... Oh, oh. Give it up, Grandpa. Your powers are gone. Oh, look at Squirk. He's trying to change shape to escape. Oh, relax. He's so old, he can't even change his mind. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Squirt. <laughs> I'm a real good, you know. Shut up! <sighs> so, where is this Squirk? What if he doesn't see Pluma signal? Oh, I'm sure he will. All this water makes me nervous. Dragons don't swim very well, you know. Well, I've never tried to make such big bubbles, Megan. You can do it, Fizzy. Go for it. <laughs> wow! Wow, this is me! Terrific, Fizzy. Now make one for Danny. Now we may need some help getting down there. What's that, Megan? It's the signal shell that I got from the sea ponies. They said to use it any time I needed them. Baby sea ponies! All right! Too old, am I? Ha, I'll show you who's too old. Pipe down! <laughs> Your feathers squeaking. This as long as I'm alive, Squirk, you'll never rule this land again. I got news for you, Ruff. When I get the flash stone back, that's exactly what I'll do. Why I'm gonna flood the land just like it was before. <laughs> hey, where is Pluma anyway? She should have signaled by now. The signal now! Well, what are you lying around for? Get on and throw it! It's just work right away! I'm on my way right now! Right now! <laughs> Something before all those 
those plants are eaten away. <gasps> Puma, can you change shape and get us out of here? I'll try. Uh. Come on, Puma. You can do it. Try harder, my dear. Can't. The ropes are too tight. And Ponyland's doomed. Should I be humble? I'll make the mountain from ball. You ain't seen nothing yet. When I'm in power, watch my enemies sweat. So stop on me with a general mix regret. Let them try attacking. You'll get to show lucky. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> No idle threat. I'll be a baddie they won't ever forget. Better start praying or soon you'll be paying. Like the man was saying. As I was saying. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go back to Paradise Estate and I'll show you. Yeah, 
won't be long before the water reaches here, I reckon. We're not accomplishing anything waiting for it. Just hang on, Gusty. It's Danny we're waiting for. He thinks he's figured out a way to get the flash stone away from Squirk. Look! My nets! Right! We can catch Squirk and crank in them just like a couple of fish. We just have to flush those two out of the water long enough to drop the nets on them. I think I know a way to do that. Okay, but we've still got to get the flash stone Leave that part to me. There's no trace of Squirk. You sure? Oh, we've looked everywhere. Then he must be down there somewhere. Keep circling and wait for our signal. Okay, Pluma, you know what to do. Do it once, Squirk. Come on, I never get to do nothing. That's because I'm ruler, and you're not. Oh, I never get nothing to do. I both look. <sighs> Let's check it out. Yo! You've escaped! Yes! But we, uh, we've come here to ask you, that is, tell you actually, that, well, it's okay if you, uh, if you want to rule us. You gotta be kidding! Just stop flooding the land, Squirk, and we'll do whatever you want. Maybe you'll even be, you know, a good ruler. Just don't get us wet, okay? The signal! Let's go! As the ruler's best friend, I just like to say... Shut up! I'm so glad you've all seen the lie! So to speak. <laughs> uh, can I say one thing, your squirkiness? What? Drop it! Buttons, do your stuff! Get him, Squirk! Blast him! They can't do this to a ruler! Shut up and quit smashing! You're rousing up my head! Hey! Win, Whistler! Let's move! small and it's 
seems like a mighty long haul. With a little faith and trust, we can fashion dreams from dust in just no time at all. <laughs> Stones can be used for evil too easily, Fizzy. We're all much better off without it. <laughs> Maybe, but we couldn't have gotten our home back without it. That's right. Our home's okay now. See, baby heartthrob? I told you it would be all right. And I do hope you can forgive me for pretending to be a ghost. Well, next time you'll know that we're your friends and you can trust us. Speaking of home, well, it's high time we went back to ours. Goodbye, everybody. And thank you. Thank you all for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye.